Making the mRNA is really easy and really cheap, and that's the magic of this thing. But there's no doubt in the next five years, we can, you know, we just need to mess around. There's a lot of lipid nanoparticles, and some are very self-assembly. And there's no inherent reason it's not thermal stable, it's not cheap, and it's not scalable. And so, as over the five years, we fix that part of it, mature it, which is very typical, uh, we'll be able to build factories worldwide that can make $2 vaccines with even less lead time than we've had to have here during this pandemic. And we'll use those, as you suggest, for every disease that we don't have vaccines, we will try mRNA. In fact, for HIV, we have multiple ways, one that's more of a B cell approach, one that's more of a T cell approach. You know, for malaria, we have multiple ideas. For TB, we have multiple ideas. And so to fill in the missing vaccines, uh, we will we'll make a lot of our bets of, of the Gates Foundation and others who care about global health uh, will be a, a mRNA focused.